Welcome back to Winning Law. I'm attorney David Wynn with offices in Houston, Texas. A few months ago, we shared a video discussing tips on writing an approvable VAWA affidavit from one of our female clients and a female perspective. Today, we're going to share a testimonial from one of our male clients. In the video, he has agreed to provide his tips on what he did in order to write his affidavit and get his VAWA case approved. To be perfectly honest, male VAWA cases are a lot harder than female VAWA cases. A large part of this reasoning is mainly due to gender discrimination or gender bias even with immigration. There are even some immigration attorneys that refuse to take on male VAWA clients because they have a hard time believing that women can be the initial aggressor. After watching this video, if you have your own tips on how to write a successful VAWA affidavit, feel free to share your tips in the comments below. Again, thank you for watching Winning Law. I'm attorney David Wynn, and we hope that we have made immigration easier to understand. Yes, of course, my name is Eran Gurer. No, nobody offered me to pay anything, just my own. Mr. David actually explained me that a lot of people are struggling writing their affidavit form. That's why actually I wanted to help people on that. Actually, my sister helped me to find you. I wasn't actually mentally uh, able to search for anything for my life. I was going through, to be honest, a depression. She told me that uh, there's actually an attorney that has really good Google reviews and we didn't even know anything about an attorney office. Yes, it, it's been approved and I received my green card. No, the only thing we did in the last portion is I just uh, gave my medical exam and it took less than actually like 20-30 minutes and and then we just send it to the immigration yeah the most difficult part was I am um, actually writing down my affidavit and second most difficult part was putting all these information and these paperwork in a like, send a point because at the same time you're going through a lot of uh, emotional cycles you're trying to recall all these memories and you're trying to make them on point and which was making it actually hard for me to do on my own affidavit is actually your life story what makes it actually difficult to write it down is that it has to be a short you cannot write it down pages and pages which was my problem because you look up through from your emotional points and at the same time you need to understand that it's a legal form that you have to write it down and Mr. David helped me on that multiple times with his assistant I remember I, I came to the office three or four times and we just sat one-to-one -one with his assistant and then she helped me to write it down. Every single word is going to make an effective affidavit form for me. Especially this part is very important. When it comes to affidavit, you're actually stopping at for a moment because okay. all the other um, documents yes they're like available in the uh, immigration website but affidavit form is personal and when something is personal you don't understand the fact that it's actually still in the process of filling your case first tip uh, I would say that make it on point that's very very important and that was my biggest problem that's why I just came here like multiple times. Second of all, it has been a certain time frame. Uh, you need to make sure that you're not wasting your time and battling with these pages and memories. And the third part was at one point I uh, changed my mindset and decided to make sure that they're supporting my point of view about my case. 
and the fourth would be actually a language barrier. I understand the fact that English wasn't my first language and I needed a professional touch-up in almost every sentences that I made and Sir David helped me on that almost like a school uh, type of like class I would say. The last thing I would suggest that you can uh, provide any images or like pictures on your affidavit it has to be definitely uh, in words which made it like struggle for me because many of you guys out there are coming to this country as an immigrant and I was one of the immigrant too and that's what makes it actually hard that somebody ha will read your affidavit but that person is going to be most likely an, a native speaker and you need to understand that your words need to make sense also my future plan was to live my life like as a mm, free man that was my biggest goal in life because i always struggled with being free um, i don't know if that would be uh, right to share but i'm from turkey so in my case it was hard to be a free man free gay man and mr david helped me to actually um, be a free person my uh, final word would be um, step out of your comfort zone because when you are stuck in your comfort zone you don't live if you want to live your life for any reason mine was being free um, you have to step out of your comfort zone and try your best for yourself to earn you earn whatever you want to earn in this life and that's what i did my starting point for my life was receiving a one uh, free folder from mr david and he just told me that here keep this one either you're gonna continue with me or not but make sure uh, you organize them and that's when i decided to hire him as my attorney because uh, we i needed somebody to touch up my life and david Gwynn's law office we are here to help you we bring families together through in and on the other hand, we help you find solutions All your legal needs in the hands of people who care Who are there for you We'll take care of your loved ones At the Law Office of David